So in this course, we'll be focusing uh, initially on three very specific variable types. Now we're going to add some as the class goes on, but these three will always come up. Um, so let's just go ahead and get them uh, right out here at the beginning. So you've got three types. Uh, I'll make these like comments. So you got string, strong spelling, not, not always my strong suit, but strings, we've got integers, and we've got vera and we've got uh, float. Now, the easiest way to think of these things is a string is always a combination of letters and numbers. All right, integers are always whole numbers. And floats are always All right, so I'm simplifying a little bit, but that's that's the general gist. If you remember those three, you'll be in good shape. Now, how do we tell the difference? Well, a string obviously would be uh, any combination of letters and numbers. All right, that's a string. And uh, Python knows it's a string because I put it in quotes. I can use single or double quotes. Uh, my convention is single quotes. So that's a string, All right? An integer, it's always gonna be a whole number. 1 or 10 or you know, 100, uh, et cetera. And floats are always going to be decimal points. So 0.5, 100, 0.4, so forth and so on. Right, those are floats. So floating point numbers. Now, functionally, how do we make those usable? Well, if I was going to assign a string, let's call it my string. And I could say inside of my string, this is my string. There's a string constant, right? Let's uh, comment these out so that I can run this here in a moment. Same with, I'm gonna go ahead and comment these before I forget. Same with integers and floats. Uh, an integer, my, could be assigned a number, right? And uh, let's add a little white space here for clarity. And floating point numbers, same kind of thing. And uh, sorry, I messed this up. That's a, that's a string. Anytime I put it inside of quotes, it's a string, whether it's a number or not, right? So that's a string, just as long as we're on it. This is my other string. Right? That's also a string. Even though it's a number, it's inside of quotes. So Python sees it as a string. If I want to confirm these, here's a really cool trick. I can say print. Let's, let's print my string. So if I print my string and I run that, right, we're going to see over here that uh, it just prints out my string, right? Well, let's say I wanted to confirm that it was a string. Like, what if I did this? If I print my other string and I run this, take a look here. And it says 100, so I think, oh, it's a number, cool. But it's actually not. Remember, I said it's a string because it's inside of these quotes. Well, how could I be sure of that? Well, that's easy. I can use the type command, type inside here. And you'll see kind of how we use these things. But what this does now is instead of printing my other string, it's going to print the type of variable that my other string is. So when I click up here, look, it's going to tell me it's a class string. Right? So that's an easy way for me to check to make sure that I've actually assigned things the way I think I've assigned them. If it was a number, it would say, you know, class string or class float. If it was a string, it would say class string. So what do I mean? For instance, if I change this one to one we know is a number, my float, what do you think is going to print out up here? Well, let's hit print and see. And uh, it's a float, right? So. Type is a great way to check our integer or check our variables to find out what kind of variable we've created. So those are the three big ones. If you hang on to those, you'll be in great shape. Um, and the concepts of assigning a variable um, stay the same regardless of the kind of variable we use.